So finally we come to the key of F sharp. And if you remember, our first sharp that we used, C had none, but the key of G was next in our circle of fifths, it had one sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. The seventh note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh note is sharped. Even the seventh key is sharp. So we have C, G, D, A, E, B, that's six of those. And now on our seventh, it's F sharp. It's no longer a natural key. So that cycle and sequence, that goes through more than just our written scale. And it's something that we have to really be aware of. The seventh one rests from its usage, not only in the, in the notes, um, as far as the way we call them, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G, but it also rests in the chord. The first is primary, second is not, the third is primary to the chord, the fourth is not, the fifth is primary. So primary, primary, primary. So primary, not, primary, not, primary, and then not. So primary, not, primary, not, primary, not. You would think the next one would be primary, but it's not either. It's just the seventh that has to rest. So it's the same usage. So a, a chord is simply the first, the third, and the fifth, letting the seventh rest, going to the next first, the next third, the next fifth, letting the, the seventh rest, going to the next first, through infinity if we wanted to. Now, if we look at the fact that the seventh scale, not, not seven sharps, has only six sharps. C had none, remember. So C has none, G has one, D has two, A has three, E has four, B has five, and F sharp has six sharps. And we talked about a little battle between B and C. Who's going to win that? So let's look and see. Remember, B has no sharp, and E has no sharp. So we're going to have a problem here. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. Ah, B didn't get sharped. B wasn't sharped in the key of C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, the seventh, didn't get um, sharp because of the half step. There, there is no B sharp. So F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. And C sharp, D sharp. What's this? Let's take a look. D is open. First fret is D sharp. E is next, and E has no sharp, so that's F. So F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, F. It kind of messes things up, huh? And then F sharp. But we're going to disguise this F as something else because really we can't write it out and talk about it that way. If you look at our music here, C has no sharps, G has one sharp in the beginning of the key signature, D has two, A has three, E has four, B has five, and F sharp has six sharps. And that first one at the very left is an F sharp. It tells you to keep every F sharp. Now if I have to keep every F sharp, this could be hard to read it because I need to play an F in there. And if, if a melody has an F, so is it, um, so there's F sharp, F, F sharp, but that's a problem. It tells me in the music I have to keep every F sharp, so when I try to write that F, I'm going to confuse everybody. I could write a flat next to it, but that really wouldn't be right, because F flat would be E. So there's no real way to talk about this unless we disguise the note. And what we're going to do is we're going to call it in the key of F sharp. We're going to call this an E sharp, even though it's an F. E is there. The half step above it is F, but we're going to call it E sharp so we can disguise that and make a difference between F sharp and E sharp. So now in our key of F sharp, we have F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, and F sharp. And that's how you'll read it when we start reading music, which we haven't done yet. We're going to get into that as well. With this theory exercise, you can learn the names of all of your notes, but it's important that you memorize the names of all your notes. So we're going to go on to something we call the name game, and that's going to help you understand the names of all of these, and hopefully this will be uh, very beneficial to you as well. So we'll see you soon with the name game.